Ivan says, take us back to the day when you said yes to Jerome Jar. What was it that made you believe in him and his idea? Thanks. Ivan, great question. For the ones out there that don't know, Jerome Jar, a, a very famous Viner, Snapchatter, Instagrammer, uh, and I started an agency called Grape Story, a sister agency to Vayner Media, all those characters, um, uh, last May, where we represent the uh, best talent in the emerging content platforms to do branded content and things of that nature. Jerome beat me in rock, paper, scissors uh, in uh, Toronto, and what he won on stage, Jerome raised his hand and said, I was doing Q&A, can I go up there and play you rock, paper, scissors? If I beat you, can I have coffee with you in New York? I said yes, I got him up there and I was hell bent on beating him and if I won, I swear my children, I would have never met with him. So just amazing how life really is. He wins, pissed me off and uh, you know, three months later, I look at my calendar, I'm like, what's my next meeting? It's like 10.30 at night on a Tuesday, I'm dead. I just wanna go home, I'm like, what's my next meeting? Jerome, I'm like, what is this? I click in, I don't even know the name. I click into it for the details, that's how my calendar kind of, I do it and I'm like, oh, this guy? I literally thought, I was like, all right, how do I get there and spend four minutes in this meeting, get out of there and go to sleep because I have a 5.30 flight, which was like a 3.45 wake up call the next day, I remember. and. Uh, and Jerome started talking. He's like, look, there's a platform buying, I've got all in, I'm an entrepreneur, I grew up in France, I went to China, I learned how to speak English by listening to Crush It on audio, which played to my ego, so that made me sit there longer. And then, uh, and then uh, he just kept talking and basically it was deja vu. It felt like I was having a conversation in 2006, except Jerome was me and I was Eric Kastner, my lead developer that I've given a lot of shout out to. I was pitching Kastner in 2006, should I start a record label I didn't even know about agents and things like that. I remember saying, should I start, a, I remember the moment in his office, should I start a record label to represent these new YouTube stars like me? Um, I should have. And, uh, but I let it go and Jerome was talking, I'm like, this is the same moment over again. And so, the energy, my gut feel, the fact that I believed in what he was talking about, he wanted to do a festival, we turned it into an agency because that's what I knew about and so um, that's, what, that's what it was. It was the content, the context and the intuition. And when I have that uh, CCI concoction, I always go with it. Oh crap, wait, subscribe! I need subscriptions because I can't push this many right hooks in social, so subscribe!